Yeah, 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 I know. Everyone's talking about the new products that Apple just dropped yesterday. But what if I show you the next iPhone? I'm going to do that. That's what we're doing in this episode. Okay, so we're not going to show you the iPhone 15 today, obviously. I'm talking about the next iPhone SE, the iPhone SE 4. And oh man, you are, you are not ready for this one. Something crazy, brand new design. We've never seen this before. It's fresh, it's new, so new, so fresh. And I'd like to show it to you now. One, two, three. Wow. Bye. And that, ladies and germs, is the yet to be announced iPhone SE 4 as an FPT exclusive with all the available colors of Midnight, Starlight, and Product Red. It's okay. You may be impressed. Well, be impressed by Ian's incredible renders and then disappointed by the fact that you're literally looking at the iPhone 10R like. It's that phone, but with new brain and goodies inside. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we have been sitting on this one for a hot minute. I think I, I think I first talked with Ian about this sometime in June. Like he was on vacation or something, but we talked about it and then we just, we made these and we've been sitting on these for a while. And then I think I actually finally said something publicly on the Geared Up podcast with Andrew Edwards and John Rettinger. Here's the clip from back in August. If you wanted, and I also hope the mini continues on in the future as the next SE, maybe the SE4. I'm hoping that the current SE is the last home button device. Well, you want something that's small for people who want small, but you also want it to be not that expensive. So I'm, I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just throwing a hope out there. The SE4, from what I understand, uh, and I don't think I've said this publicly, but is just the iPhone XR. Oh, well, that's... Yeah. Hmm. So, Jern, you ask, why you wait so many months to say on the show? <laughs> Good question, really. Uh, you see, I was a bit nervous, and I know that sounds silly. That's goofy, right? Why would I be nervous? But I don't know if you remember this or not, but there was a certain Apple Watch design that I leaked that wasn't that wasn't one hundred percent correct. <laughs> so you know. Your boy was catching some nerves over here. But in regards to the iPhone SE 4, sure, we've had this info for a hot minute. We've just been sort of waiting in the shadows, waiting to strike and hoping we weren't wrong like the last time. So when lovely analyst Ross Young backed up and almost downright confirmed everything we thought we knew, we had to go ahead and open our anuses wide open so you could jump in. Go on, it's safe, pulls open. In terms of the insides, Bro, I don't know. It's an iPhone XR, okay? And since it's coming out most likely early next year, I'd assume that we'll get an A16 inside. Hopefully new camera tech as well. The whole idea is just to be able to reuse the tooling and machinery that they used for the run of the iPhone XR because less money now, less doll hairs, which is the same thing that they did for the last few SEs. Just reuse the design of the iPhone 8 and put a new name on it. Boom. The Tim Cook special. And believe it or not, these SE phones sell like crazy. They are consistently one of the top selling phones on the market. Not just top selling iPhones, top selling phones, period. And since the phone itself <laughs> isn't that impressive, we took it a step further with these custom wallpapers. As with pretty much every one of our projects, Ian made custom wallpapers. They are incredible. And if you want, you can get the whole pack full resolution just for five dollars link down in the description all the money goes straight to ian's piggy bank come on you really gonna look at his wallpaper and say you don't want it all in all say what you want but i think the design for the iphone 10r still holds up i'm okay with this being the iphone se4 this will still sell well even next year and as per huge on this show if you are in the press and you want to write articles or if you make youtube videos link down in the description to frontpagetech.com where you can download all of the full res renders to use. Just please, don't just simply take screenshots of this episode. That looks terrible. Thanks. I know you were probably hoping that it was going to look better than this, but uh, 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 but hey, it's Apple. I'm sure they know what they're doing with the SE4 because the iPhone XR sold extremely well. 
Though I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the iPhone XR Tim Cook just put drugs in the box and used the XR as a drug mule scheme. That's not a leak. Don't work. Don't, don't report that. Uh, okay. Hey, here's the thing. I ship stuff a lot, but I refuse to go to the post office. The lines are too long. And the people in the lines are, are too sticky. That's why I use today's sponsor, Stamps.com. Stamps gives you access to all of the post office and UPS shipping services right from your own computer. It saves you a trip, it saves you time, and it saves you money. We're talking like 40% off of typical USPS rates and 76% off UPS rates. So whether you're in an office sending out invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. All you need is a computer and a standard printer, no special supplies or equipment. Stop overpaying and stop leaving your house. Sign up today at stamps.com slash FPT to get a four week free trial, free postage and a free digital scale. I don't think I've ever seen a company give this much stuff for free. Thanks to stamps.com for sponsoring this episode of Rapporteur. Okay, welcome back. So, story numero lasto, last up for the day. Uh, sorry, guys, this one is not some exclusive. This is just a usual, you know, one of those insert tech news here, fart joke, my ass, the end. The new Apple products were announced yesterday. We got a brand new base model poor people iPad that actually isn't very poor people anymore because they raised the price. The colors look literally fantastic. Unless it's like all the other iPads where the colors and the pictures look great, but when you get in a person, it's dull and stupid. The design is great. No laminated display though. Don't know if you heard that part. There's also Apple Pencil 1 support, generation 1 support that has to be charged with lightning even though the new iPad iPad has USB-C, so now now you have to get this dongle to charge your f***ing pencil, how f***ing stupid, holy s***. <clears throat> ah, and then the new um, iPad Pro. The new iPad Pro with M2 and front-facing camera that can still only record in portrait. Oh, and uh, Apple TV 4K, the new one with the A15 chip. That's cool. All in all, if you want my opinion, you know, terrible. Not impressed. Not in the slightest. In fact, I don't even want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this anymore. And you can't make me. I am the captain. See you tomorrow.